Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to Garden Jen's Journey. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make suet blocks. As you can see here, my suet block feeder is getting quite low. Now I don't go out and purchase suet blocks anymore. Why? Because they are very easy to make. You can make them at home with just a few high quality all natural ingredients. So come along with me and I'll show you how easy it is to make suet blocks. Okay, so today we are making suet blocks. You've probably seen quite a few different varieties in stores. As you can see, this looks just basically like a nice high quality suet block you would buy in the store. But this is all natural and only has a few simple ingredients in it. For a mold, I just use these uh, containers that I buy some bulk foods in our, at our local Mennonite store. You can use any shallow um, rectangular or square container that's about the size of a suet block uh, and uh, that will work just fine as a mold. But what I use is, uh, this is a blend of coconut oil and peanut butter, both very healthy, very high fats. Uh, products that uh, will really help give the, the birds the extra energy they need in the winter time. I generally go about two parts coconut oil and one part peanut butter. That way there's enough of the coconut oil when it gets cold that it'll be solid and it will hold the suet blocks together. That's the one thing about these suet blocks is they only really work in cold temperatures. Uh, the uh, peanut butter and then the coconut oil have a lower melting point so anything above 60 degrees and your suet blocks gonna start falling apart but generally I go with one cup of coconut oil and one half cup of just a nice all-natural creamy peanut butter you could use crunchy peanut butter if you wanted to but for me um, I just use the creamy it works very well and then I get a simple, very cheap blend of uh, bird seed, nothing too fancy. And then when uh, they're on sale, I get the black oil sunflower seeds. These are very dense in the type of oil and nutrition that birds need. So this is the black oil sunflower seed. And then I also add cracked corn. And you can get this at any feed store. You can get either the cracked corn, or if you wanted to, you can get scratch grain. It has some extra um, grains in it. Either works fine. And uh, then I just mix them in a bowl, e uh, equal parts. So basically I'll use a half a cup of each or a cup of each, depending on the size that I'm, or how many suet blocks I'm doing. And then I just mix it in the bowl and then drizzle some of the mixture from the oils in here until this is just moistened. You don't want too much of the oil, but you just want to have the, uh, the grains and the seeds all coated so when it freezes it will stick together. So I just take this and just pour it in here. And I do it a lot by eye now because I've done this a lot. And then just pack it in there. Okay. And then I just stick these in the freezer for a few hours until they're frozen solid or until I need them, whichever is later. And then they really easily just pop out of these molds because the, the grease is in here. And uh, you can just take them out and put them in your suet feeder. So that's a basic suet block recipe. You can add all sorts of stuff to this besides the uh, seeds and stuff. If you want, you can add dried fruits and berries. A lot of your birds would really love you for that. Um, you can go really high tech and add some different nuts and things like that if you wanted to. It's all up to you. Just make sure you do your research first to see what other uh, suet blocks have in them 
to give you kind of an idea of what you can put in them because you don't want to make your birds sick. So thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I hope wherever you are that you are wonderfully blessed. Bye-bye.